Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how can we install PHP Travis web application on any web server or on any local host web server without having any automated solution to install. The entire process will be manual. So let's just get started. It's a very basic and simple. I recommend if you have already a cPanel web based server, so it makes it very easier to control all the process. So first of all what you have to do is you just need to log in at your phptravels.org account and then you can find your product here which you have purchased already. For example I just click here and then it takes us to download page and I click the download. In my case I have already downloaded the, all the files available here. So you have make sure before you install uh, start the installation of this process make sure you have already installed it and downloaded um, the files so let's just get on the files we need to come on to we need to click here on the file manager in cpanel and then add public html area and then we need to upload our files just get onto desktop and select your files it takes few minutes to complete the uploading just wait for it so yes once the upload of files is complete we have to navigate to the files refresh this area and then we have to select the zip file and extract all the files on public HTML folder you can see all the files has been extracted the next step is we are going to create a database so simply we just need to click on the wizard of mysql and here we need to type for example database on the next page we have to create the username and password for example in my case i type db username and then db password d db password then we click next and make sure to select all the privileges so that user have access to all these um, limits so we have created our database what we have to do is we need to get back to our files and find this folder called config click on that then select database.php and then edit it after editing this file you need to add your database username which we have recently created so we have just copy this and then we come to database paste 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 and then on username we have to change it db username and write your password here whatever you have used and then click on save Alright, so we have created database, we have uploaded files, we have created database, we have connected database and the script code together. Now we have to upload the SQL file. This is very simple. You again have to click on phpMyAdmin, let it load this page and then we need to open this zip and then get into install folder. There is SQL, install.sql file just get that out of the zip put it together here, and then we get back to this page PHP my admin which is the database page we have to select our database and then we have to click on import then browse and then select the SQL file and upload it it takes few minutes or seconds depending on the connection and the server specification and this will complete the upload process so we have done all the process right now and right now we have the last step and that is a license the web application has been installed and it requires license only if you are running it on live server on live domain if you are installing the script on your local host it will never ask for the license so how can we get our license simply 
get back to this page where you have downloaded the software you can see there is a license key you can simply copy this and get open your website in my case I'm just going to my domain slash admin at the first time it will require the license just to make sure it will connect to our live server server as sync your domain with us and make sure that everything has been done professionally on your web server otherwise it will never ask for the license so it was a very simple and quick way I thought that I sh must share because there are many web servers are not accepting our default installation uh, process so that we would like you to install our script manually on your web server or on localhost thank you for watching